What is this, a pike? Small mouth, burning a crankbait, guys. Burning a square bill is what it's all about, guys. Hold on here. Burning a square bill, guys. Rocco OG5. Rocco 05. Rocco OG5, square bill. That's what happens when you burn a square bill. Get a nice fish. Okay. Nice little guy. I'll take him. Nice. Got him on the Rocco OG, guys, right there from Rapala. I think this is my, uh, I don't know, been here maybe, been here maybe 15 minutes. I wind up getting snagged over here and I had to go get my lure retriever. Hitting rock. So this thing's getting down, which I'm happy about. It's getting down, guys. Very happy about that. Like I said, the depth is varying, so it's all over the place. Burning a square bill. Silent, guys. No rattles here. Silent. Especially on pressured uh, waters, it's good to use silent baits. Here's one, guys. That's a nicer smallmouth. That's a nicer smallmouth. Burning a square bill, guys, is what it's about. Whoa, doing a two-step there. Almost fell in the water. <clears throat> That's a nice chunker, guys. That's a nice chunker. Burning a square bill, guys. Two fish in a matter of what? Four minutes. Burning a square bill. Right there, Rocco OG, guys, is what it's all about. Rocco OG. Burning a square bill in the fall. One of the most deadliest uh, techniques, guys. Why? Because it's mimicking a bait fish. Bait fish, bait fish, bait fish is what you gotta remember. Bait fish, bait fish, bait fish. This is what it's about. <clears throat> Burning a square bill. So that's two fish in a matter of four minutes, guys, in this one area. what it's about guys finding a fish finding the fish that was a I think I got a leaf on that one got me a leaf fish on that one guys So the Rocco OG, guys, is what I'm using. The Rocco OG from Rapala. I think I got another leaf, yeah. See, this is something you gotta contend with, is the leaves. It's, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, guys.
There's somebody fishing over there. Our fish jumped. The Rocco OG, guys. All right, so I think we're gonna go up there and go down there. So I got two other poles over there. Um, this is the medium heavy. Uh, yeah, someone's fishing over there. Probably the uh, other fisherman I just ran into a little while ago. He was uh, riding his bike, said hello. So like I said, burning a square bill, one of the most deadliest techniques, guys. Just showing you guys all different stuff that works. Jerk bait, square bill. What's tomorrow, Saturday? You can stick with what works, guys. Burning a square bill. Let's say you're, you're fishing, uh, let's say this is what? Six feet, seven feet, eight feet. If you, like right now I'm hitting. The river always varies in depth, so if I'm throwing, this is the five foot diver. This will go five, about five feet, maybe six. Okay, you make a long cast, it'll get down. So look, I'm reeling, pause, reel, pause. I'm not hitting bottom yet, so that might be a deeper section. Not hitting bottom yet. throw it way out there so I generally throw a few casts in one spot just in case a fish you know hears it on the first time but didn't get it throw a few casts in the same spot always just like I got that one fish I've repeatedly threw into that spot and I winded up getting another fish what do we got here what do we got here? Got some green stuff, guys. You see this green stuff? That might be uh, some grass that's um, dead that I wind up snagging, but you want to look for the live grass. So burn it, pause. Burn it, pause. And if you get a fish that hits it, you want to load up. So like I said, I only had maybe, I only got 45 minutes to fish. I've only been out here, I don't know, 20 minutes. We got two fish on the square bill into one spot. And a lot of times these fish will run in packs, especially in the fall, because they're chasing the bait fish. So if you find one, two, you know, fo you know, focus on that area. And then of course, always explore. Don't stay in one spot, explore. But what I mean is fish all over. You can, I can stay in this one spot and fish for an hour. Don't throw a couple casts and get discouraged if you don't get nothing. Try a different lure. Try a different lure. See if we can get another one in this spot. I don't know if I winded up cutting my boot, but it's cut right open. It's w wide open. I don't know if that was glass. Cut wide open on the uh, on the boot. 
I don't know what that was about, but glad it wasn't my skin, guys. That's see, that's the thing with the river. You got metal, glass, you got all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Picking up some uh, grass over here, which is good. This is, see, see this here? This is the area where I caught those two fish. This is still living. See this here? That's still living, that's key. Where you have grass, you have, you'll have bait fish and you'll have bass. Grass that's alive, that is. Like, you know, coontail grass. I think I foul hooked my uh, treble. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up there and we're gonna change, we're gonna fish a different area. Let's see, Let's see if I can get up here. Burning a square, Bill, guys. You know what? I can get down here. I might as well come down here right now rather than have to climb down when I get a fish. Here we go. Got to figure out what I'm eating for dinner. Right now, it's, I guess, I don't know, 6.30, 6 o'clock. I got, I think I got grass or a leaf. Leaf. Um, figure out what I'm eating for dinner tonight. I was thinking of getting me a nice chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich from, uh, not Boston Market, not KFC, not Roy Rogers. Is it, uh, what the hell's the name of it? Oh, Popeyes. I think I was uh, craving a, a sandwich from Popeyes. Uh oh, they're snagged. I remember there was something here. Yeah, I think. And they know, see what just happened? I pulled on it pretty good, right? With the Rocco OG. With the Rocco OG balsa wood, you know what happens? It'll back out slowly. And that's exactly what it did. It backed out slowly. Even after pulling on it, you heard my drag go. Even after pulling on it, it's still backed out. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, guys. I'm telling you, the Rocco OG, one of the best crankbaits. I'm throwing it on the medium heavy Tatula. Not my preferred rod, but I haven't really lost. I'd rather I'd rather have a moderate rod. This is a fast action, but it's been it's been very good. I haven't lost uh you know, I haven't lost a lot of fish using a crankbait with this rod, if any. So I'm thinking about getting Popeyes tonight. Picked up some grass. Think about getting some Popeyes. Burn it, pause. Reel, burn it, pause. Burn it, pause. There's all different retrieves, or you can just go a straight retrieve like that, just reeling it in. 
picked up a leaf. So like I said, guys, you know, as far as with the fall, the fall slump, you know, with the turnover, <clears throat> you know, try different lures, try different uh, areas. You should be able to get fish every day. Even when, even when the conditions are tough, you just gotta, you know, it helps knowing the area, to be honest with you. Of course, that always helps knowing, you know, how deep it is, you know, knowing the, uh, you know, the bottom, you know, if there's wood, if there's rock, if there's a lot of rock, it helps knowing the, you know, the area. But if you don't know the area, a square bill is one of those uh, lures that you can work fast and that's how you uh, cover water and it catches fish too. Catches fish. But this water is down a lot. This river is down a lot. And that's that's one of uh so besides the full turnover, right? Besides the full turnover and the slump, you gotta also think what's the water level been like? Has it been dropping? In our case, this river in this area has dropped significantly, significantly. Right now, this water should be up to here. So it should be at least two and a half, two and a half feet uh, higher. Two and a half feet is a lot. So when you have fish that are, that are um, generally, you know, chasing bait fish in shallow water, well, guess what? Those fish that are supposed to be in the shallow water, they're not going to be there. Why? Because the water level has dropped so much, they're they're out of there. Water water level starts dropping like it has for the past 2 months. Guess what? Forget about the fall. They're they're getting out of there. When it drops down to two and a half feet that's a lot we're not talking maybe a, a foot we're talking you know a couple feet to two and a half feet so you always got to factor in everything you can't factor in it's the fall most important thing water levels that's why i'm fishing this deeper section Now you can fish shallow, shallow areas. Now, if they have a, a deeper section near the bank, I'd be fishing that. Because like I said, when you have water levels that drop significantly, you want to focus on deeper water near shallow water. So if you have shallow water here and you have deeper water over there, guess what? I'm going to hit that deeper water. Especially if you don't see any bait fish in the shallows, then, you know, look for those deeper areas, which is what I'm doing right here. So if you go further up the river, guess what? It's, it's inches. And I can promise you the fish ain't there. Inches. They're gonna look for those uh, the next the next deepest area next to that shallow water, which is this area right here. Good old 
square bill guys so yeah i was thinking about getting maybe uh popeyes oh whoa what was that you see that big jump out there big jump out there and wind up getting a fish look at that whoa he's blowing up out there he's going crazy out there if i had a top water right now i'd throw it out there all right so we got a baby smallmouth guys a baby smallmouth here whoa hold on buddy hold on hold on hold on baby smallmouth on the rock oh hold on so slippery he's got the treble in his mouth a size uh a size four treble okay hold on buddy hold on whoa he's in my pocket fish is in my pocket guys <laughs> in my pocket hold on here hold on give you a little love right there right nice little small mouth okay on the Rocco OG line up falling all over my flannel That's what it's about guys That's what it's about oh I don't know what that was little fish Another little smallmouth, guys. That's two casts in a row, guys. This one area. So this one area for... Oh! And he's out of here. That's... There could be a school of fish over there. Like I said, they run in packs. So that's two right in that one spot. So running it down, pause. Running it down, pause. Running it down, pause. So that's four smallmouth in this one area, guys, throwing a square bill. I don't know, this thing's been running for 20, 23 minutes, 28 minutes. 23, 28 minutes, I don't know, four smallmouth, one spot not bad like i said guys when you when the water has dropped significantly you want to fish the deeper areas you want to fish those deeper areas A couple more casts guys a couple more casts and then we're gonna go uh, get something to eat and this is a silent crankbait guys balsa wood silent don't always go for the loudest uh, loudest uh, lure especially in pressured uh, fisheries if you got pressured fisheries I'd go silent especially in the fall and then once winter comes guess what you want to go silent too silent and fish slow real slow now's not the time to be fishing slow though Burning a square bill is not fishing slow. That's looking for reaction strikes. I want to get one more small mouth before we end this video. Make it five small mouth in a matter of a half hour. One spot. One spot, one lure, five small mouth. But you know what? I'll be happy with four. 
four fish in one spot in a matter of a uh, half hour, I'm happy. I'll take that. Got a bat flying overhead. I'm gonna have to start carrying um, a light with me, guys. Start carrying a light so you guys can see what's going on because this GoPro isn't good at, at dark, as you can tell. But. But we're still fishing. All right, one more cast. Last cast, guys. Last cast, see if we can get a fish here. How about a stick fish, guys? A nice big stick. I'll take that. Let's take a big stick fish to end it. Nice big stick. God. It's got to be about eight feet tall. Like a long stick. Oh, that's why I got it. I got someone's fishing line wrapped up all over it. Somebody's uh, braided line was hooked all over the stick. And I wind up snagging the, uh, the braided line. All right, last cast. One more and that's it, we're out of here. All right, guys, tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow, Saturday, we can spend all day fishing. That's it. That is it. Walking back right now to the rest of my stuff. Nice sunset right there, right, guys? Okay, we're back. All right, everyone. Everybody have a great night. Um, do some fishing tomorrow. It's going to be 70s. 70s, 70s. Reaction baits, okay? Reaction baits. These fish are going to get fired up tomorrow. It's going to be 70 something degrees like it was today. It's going to be warmer tomorrow and uh, Sunday. Big fish over there. Big fish jumping over there. Wish I had the top water top water to throw um so reaction baits guys and you know square bill crank baits in deeper water next to shallow water is basically what it's all about especially when you have the river dropping significantly forget about that shallow that shallow uh, water that's inches go to the next deepest area which is where i'm at guys have a great night we'll see you tomorrow